Welcome back to Groovy X Farm. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday and I am leaving Groovy X Farm to go up to the new place to meet with some folks and maybe get some of that land cleared. Oh, buckle up. At least I need to buckle up. You guys can just watch, but this, this could be an interesting day. I got here and uh, look who followed me up. I don't like it. There's no 7-Elevens, no barbershops, nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go cut some trees or something like that. See you in a minute. It's about noon and I'm a bad YouTuber and I am just now filming. <laughs> we were working, not making uh, videos, but it's uh, lunchtime. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's been going on so far. It doesn't look like much now, and that's by design. If you remember, I want a little buffer uh, around my home site, you know, give me some privacy. But uh, so we'll get back into there in a second. And we've uh, burned a ton of brush already. So uh, we won't be doing that stuff today. We won't be here long enough for that. But yeah, brush pile and uh, just clearing it out of here, the home site, and hauling it to the burn pile. So right, I'll go around slow. Uh, this is where I picture the driveway. Those, uh, those trees in there and that big pile of junk. Um, put a culvert next to, the, next to the road and then this is the high point. So bring the driveway over where the fire is, and then uh, in here, we'll clear more of this little stuff as we finalize the driveway. But let's walk back in here, and you can see all the clearing. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was like that and worse. It was like that and worse. But as we get to the clearing, you will see. Uh, greens we're not going to take out and nice big stack of firewood already and that's uh, my property line is I don't know 20 feet behind that uh, pile of firewood and we'll turn around this way and yep and then we have been working in this direction. Yeah, the, we'll pull all this stuff out and burn it this afternoon. It is noon. But I'd say this is a good third of an acre at least that's been cleared out. Very cool. We're tired. But we'll get back at it. Ah, the sound of chainsaws in the background. I'm about to add a little wee with my electric chainsaw and that saws all man those things are awesome i've probably taken out a hundred little trees with that uh brand new blade helps uh diablo but yeah and um uh 100 trees and i just depleted the the battery but i got another battery i've not used a chainsaw yet and we'll see if i can do something about that well, let's start off by introducing the gang, Greg the Great, Mama V from Possum Run Homestead, Drew from Drew's Lens, Lindsay from Into the Mist. You saw Dogman earlier, but the stars of the show were, remember who I met up with uh, to get some uh, hatching eggs and a couple white and true blue roosters? I called them the A-Team. And that, uh, that meetup was fortunate. We met up in Boonville and, uh, got to talking and, uh, uh, so, and they came out and looked at, at it and, uh, a very reasonable price for, uh, and very affordable to me. He's like, yeah, we can probably whip this out in a couple days, get your home site done and, and, um, 
because there really weren't that many big trees. Uh, tw that that was one of the largest ones. Um, that wasn't a pine tree. Uh, maybe 12 to 15 large tree. Uh, the real work was getting all the underbrush out to uh, you know make room around those trees to maneuver so that we could cut them down. And that's where my uh, my saws all came in handy. Mike was out there banging it with uh, everything he had all morning long. But it was the A team and uh, some of his kids, uh, young adults, some of his young adults, and uh, a neighbor and a friend of his and some of their young adults, and just uh, knocking it out of the park, knocking it out of the park. Timber. Uh, it was exhausting. Uh, yeah, uh, get the big ones down, limb them, haul them off to the burn pile, and uh, wash, rinse, and repeat. Uh, uh, what else can I tell you? Every, uh, everybody was just going at it. Uh, I went at it for a good four hours. That sawzall is, you know, more my speed. And look at all that firewood. And that's not, well, there is a little bit of cedar in there. But a lot of that was oak. And I think we got a bit of uh, hickory. Um, so I'm going to share uh, some of that firewood. My shed house doesn't have a wood stove. And I don't plan on putting a wood stove in a 12 by 40. So I'll be sharing some of that definitely with Mama V. She was out there helping. She uh, more than earned some, some firewood from me. Um... Yeah, Drew got a new bar for his uh, for his chainsaw. He's been meaning to do that, so I guess I inspired him a little bit. And uh, yeah, once they come down, you gotta limb them, and uh, it really is amazing how much uh, how much land uh, you know, small group of people. There are about a dozen of us out there, and everybody just pitching in and. Doing what they could. Not ever, uh, you know. I couldn't go all day. Mike couldn't go all day. Greg the Great was pitching in here and there, and uh, you know, and Mama V, she had the loppers out. Those were our, you had to have the loppers for all the uh, greenbrier, all the thorns that we went through today. I've got the, <laughs> I've got the scratch marks, uh, but it was, you know inspiring very inspiring and now i can start dreaming all right what what position is the shed to house going in and then uh and then the uh storage shed that i'll probably be bringing down from here i want to bring that down right away where's the electric uh you know pole and you know no final decisions on all that have been have been made yet we'll see how far we get tomorrow uh, but that's a general area where I'll put the shed to house. And I could not have done that myself. There's no way. There's no way. And even, you know, a bulldozer would have... Uh, anyway. <laughs> we were a forestry mulching and timber team. Uh, all led by all led by the A-team and their crew and uh some friends we just put this together you know i met with them what was it sunday uh to pick up the hatching eggs and the roosters and so this all just materialized since sunday uh, uh the a team came down uh before with papa pepper and helped me move a food forest and a, a bunch of stuff down here really helped improve the property value of this place to make this uh, endeavor possible and uh, they've uh, gotten some baby chicks and hatching eggs from us and their uh, oldest son is you know really up to speed well uh, I'll be meeting them again tomorrow we'll be doing some more of this stuff it's already way too late for me to be up right now but I want to get a video out and uh, yeah oh Oh, delayed satisfaction on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Lindsay was really going at it. Drew was really going at it. 
the A team. And yeah, now we, uh, all that underbrush, seriously. Uh, it's, and you can't really get video of it because you're in the thicket. And so you're, uh, you saw some of that in Dogman's video, how thick it was when he was starting out. Dogman was the first one out there with a chainsaw on my, on my new property. And he really went to town and took out a bunch of the smaller stuff to make r room so that we could get the larger stuff later. And that was a big pine. And look at that firewood. And we got another big pine going here. Uh, most of the bigger ones were pine. There were a few oaks. There were some beautiful oaks that we're keeping. And, uh, and that's only in the... You know, a half an acre area. I'll, I'll find more of them in the back. I do not want to clear cut it. I have no plan on doing that. But uh, a lot of the smaller stuff. And then, you know, structurally, that uh, the road is to the left as we're looking right here. And uh, this will help widen the driveway to get the shed to house in. That was almost the last big one we had. But here's the last big one we had. Yeah, it wasn't very big. But I whipped out my little electric DeWalt chainsaw. And I've, uh, I've felled trees that are taller than that. But I think that's the thickest one I've ever done. And I've, I've only done a few of them. Whee! Yeah, the electric chainsaw aren't as loud as the... But they're... Yeah, anyway. Drew's helped me out. He's telling me exactly where to cut. I, uh, I had an idea, vaguely, how to do the, uh, the wedge and then the back cut. But the back cut, yeah, it was higher than I would have imagined. But that's how you learn. You got to get out there and do that. I'll be doing that myself out there with that chainsaw. I got 6.87 acres, and sometimes trees get in the way of my chickens. But they saved that one for me. I was like, all day long, I'm looking at this tree. I'm like, why is this tree still here? It's in the way. We got the wood pile. We're stacking up wood back there. And then I find out later that they saved the last tree of the day for me. So, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then I, I limbed it too. I didn't, I didn't just stop. I kept going and limbed it. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, I think I'll show you what we got. Right we now. are taking off for the day. Bunch of firewood here, bunch of firewood there and a burn pile for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's a very good bit of land cleared out and we'll be clearing some more tomorrow in that direction. Yeah, stay tuned.